Hey, this is Logan Barnhart. Um, I'm here at uh, Go Workout in South Lansing with Jeff Saigo. Uh, today, we hit, I focus mostly on legs, but I hit a little bit of everything uh, so I could do a little posing afterwards. But my main day was, uh, it was leg day today. Um, the first thing we did was I just started out with some, uh, a couple sets of leg extension and a couple sets of leg curl just to pre-exhaust the muscle a little bit before I got into the meat of the exercise. Um, so basically I just hit a couple of those. I did a set of 30 and then a set of 15 of both. And then we went over to squats and I just uh, hit some squats. Um, for squats, um, I'm only three weeks out now. Normally I would really do a lot of sets and a lot of volume when I'm doing legs. But um, today I was, I was pretty exhausted today. So I, I kept it a little easier, but um, normally what I'll do is I'll start out with, you know, a couple light sets of higher reps, and then I'll move up and lower the reps down a little bit. Um, I think today I just got up to 315, and um, then I went back down to 225, and then um, didn't really go crazy. I was just so exhausted. And then um, after that, we did uh, leg press. When it comes to leg press, um, one thing I'll, I'll either – start out with heavy weight and less reps and slowly lower the weight and r raise the rep range. Or what I'll do is I'll start at a light weight and higher reps and I'll do it in the opposite direction. This time what we did is I started uh, with a higher rep range. I think I started with 25 or 30 and then I would uh, add a little weight and lower the reps, add a little weight, lower the reps to where um, I think I just started out with four plates on each side for 25 or something like that. And then I added a plate on each side, did it for 20 and then uh, added another plate, did it for 15 or whatever. It was something like that. Um, some days I'll do it in the opposite direction where um, I'll put on, you know, like seven, eight plates on each side and do it for 10. And then I'll take a plate off at each side and do it for 15 and I'll do that. But, um, this time I did it a little bit different. Um, after we did the leg press, then I did something that, um, I've been doing a lot of lately, mainly because I decided that I was going to do a bodybuilding show. I was gonna have to show off the legs. Um, I was going to have to, uh, Really, my hamstrings are what I need to bring up more than anything. I think they were lagging. So I've been doing a technique um, called blood flow restriction training. A friend of mine, Ashley, showed it to me. And um, I've been implicating it in my workouts for legs. And I've noticed a huge difference. Basically, what you do is um, you, 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 I use knee wraps. And I'll tighten them around the upper part of my leg. And what it does, it really pulls the blood and the muscle. And you don't want to go heavy. When you're doing this, you only want to go about 70% of what you would normally do. Um, so what I did is I just did one set of 30 and then three sets of 15 after that. And I just kept it about 70% of my max. You don't want to go all out. You can injure yourself. And I, you definitely do research it before you do it yourself. Um, it's not something you just want to jump into and, and do without knowing what you're doing. You can, it can hurt yourself pretty bad. But yeah, you just um, tie off the leg and then uh, do, I did standing leg curls, did a set of 15, and then I did three sets of 30, or uh, did a set of 30, and then I did three sets of 15 afterwards. And then we went up and did uh, leg extension, and I just did the same thing. Um, did a set of 30 and then three sets of 15. But um, after you do that, I mean, your legs feel like they're gonna explode. It's pretty, it's pretty nice, actually. I love the, the pump I get from it. And I think anyone that tries it might really enjoy it themselves. Um, after that, what did we do? Then we just went into a little bit of, I just started doing upper body circuit after that. I did a little chest press. I did some lateral raises with some shoulder press. Um, I did a little bit of lat pull down, just got a pump. And then I came in and uh, did a little posing is all. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm three weeks out. Well, just over three weeks out from Junior USA's where I'm doing physique. And then uh, the following week would be the Michigan where I'm going to try my hand in bodybuilding. And then um, the week after that would be Junior Nationals. So if, uh, if I don't get my card at Junior USA's, I'll be doing the Michigan and also Junior Nationals. What was your goal in your offseason this, bud? Um, or, you know, this last offseason, like what were you we really concentrating on with that? So. Well, after last year, you know, I had a long year. I don't know what I did. I think I did seven or eight shows. 
And um, I found that at the beginning of the year, I really was training my legs hard and all that good stuff. And But by nationals in Miami in November, I was so burnt out. I just had no desire to train my legs anymore. It's really hard to stay motivated to train your legs hard like you need to when you know that they're not going to get judged. Um, and it's been a long year of training your butt off. It's just really hard to find the motivation to go in and kill them like you needed to. So what I did um, purposely was after that show, I just I made an announcement that I was going to do a bodybuilding show. And the reason I did that is because then I'm stuck to do it. <laughs> I've got, I mean, if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, you know. And so I knew that I had to basically just make that announcement to make sure that I uh, would push myself, you know, in the gym like I had to had to push myself in order to do it. Basically, by telling myself and telling everyone that I'm going to do a bodybuilding show, it made it so I had to come in here and kill my legs because there's no way I'm going to go on stage looking like a fool. So basically, this off season has been about putting on size. I feel like I looked way better um, at, like, say, Junior Nationals. Probably was where I looked my best when I was about 185 on stage. Um, I was told I was a little too big, so I, I kept trying to get smaller and smaller and smaller. But... I just felt like I looked worse and worse and worse on stage. So this year I just told myself I'm going to come in big. You know, if I have to, I'll come in a few days of zero carbs and I'll cut water, do whatever I have to do to get that look they're looking for in physique. But I'm just better off holding more muscle on my frame. I can just tell. You know, I look at myself at nationals where I was only 172. And I look at myself earlier in the year at junior nationals when I was 185. And I, I don't think there's a comparison, you know, in my personal opinion. So the way I'm looking at 2015 is just I want to be that look. I want to have that look that I want. I'm, gonna, I'm sick of chasing around what I think they want. So I'm just going to do what I want and we'll see what happens. Now, uh, uh, anyone you want to thank, but because I know you get a lot of sponsors and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I want to thank, I want to thank um, Muscle Leg and Gaspari. They're both two amazing sponsors that have been great to me. Obviously, I Violate the Dress Code. Rosa Self Tanning is a new tanning company that I recently was sponsored by. Um, they're amazing. The guy's been treating me great, sending me all these pro all the products. He's going to teach me how to spray, do all bunch of stuff, you know, and help me uh, get a little extra money in my pocket, which is great for me, great for him. Um, you know, also, uh, um, like I said, violate the dress code, Hook, always hooking me up with some good clothing. We're always in talks about some different stuff. He made me those sweatshirts for my team, Adonis Army, that are awesome. Um, and then as far as my main sponsors go, you know, obviously I got to thank Muscle Egg. They've been there. They sponsored me before Junior Nationals last year. They flew me all over the country last year. They did so much for me. I can't even, there's no way I can thank them enough. Obviously, my newest sponsor is Gaspari, and uh, that's obviously very exciting. Um, you know, they, they're going through some major changes right now, so they're basically starting over, in a sense. And um, they basically told me they want me to grow with the company, and I'm so excited to be a part of it. I, I love the direction they're going. I love the new look of the products, um, the, the way they're marketing. Just everything about it, I think, fits me perfect, and I think it's a great thing. I think the company is just going to get bigger and bigger and better and better and be even bigger and better than they, they were back in the 90s, you know, in the early 2000s. Yeah, this place is amazing. I used to work out here back in the day before I uh, really got into competing, and um, now I'm back here, and I'm very happy. They're, they're behind me 100%. They start carrying Muscle Egg. They want to start carrying Gasperi products. Uh, they want to turn this gym into a gym for competitors. They're trying to get people in here. They want to get posing lights. They want to do um, posing classes. I mean, they've just been behind me so much. It's exciting. It should be. It's exciting for anybody that lives in the area that's interested in competing because um, with me here and what they're allowing me to do here, I guarantee you you're going to see some big things coming from this place and uh, a, lot of, a lot of good competitors coming out of here too. Well, good luck at your first show in uh, three weeks, bud. We'll uh, catch up with you and hope everything goes well, man. Thank you very much.